Well, an estimated 30,000 Americans are currently living with Huntington's disease. Little is known about the genetic disorder, and there is no known cure or treatment. But with your help, you can help support families with loved ones impacted by Huntington's disease, or HD. Well, coming soon to Cleveland is the Celebration of Hope. And for more on the event, we welcome the two co-chairs, Nicole visconsi Mobby, and Jesse Liss. Thank you both for being here with us. Thank, thank you for having us, Great to see you, ladies. Yes, thank you for having us. You. Well, I've been involved in the yes. last few years with this event and will be this Friday. And I just marvel at what the two of you do. It's extraordinary for Huntington's disease. And I know a lot of our viewers are familiar with it because of Allie LaForce and her husband, Joe Smith, who's Joe's family, mm -hmm. carries the gene as well. And they just had a healthy baby oh, boy that great. they know yeah. is Huntington oh, yes. disease free. Oh, that's wonderful. So that's such a wonderful goal. But I know a lot of our viewers know no HD because of that. But mm -hmm. you both have it in your families. Yes. And would you start, Nicole, and just share your story just for a moment? Certainly. Um, my mother was diagnosed around 25 years ago and it was a, originally a slow decline and then the last few years of her life were, um, were difficult and... Difficult, you're being sweet. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it is a horrific <laughs> it is, disease. It is. I mean, it was watching your loved one deteriorate yeah. and become a shell of, of herself. Yeah. And you did not know it was in your family. No, we didn't. Both of my, her parents were, um, lived were into their 80s and they had no symptoms, so we don't know where it came from. And you from. did not get tested. And that's I a did big not. thing among a lot of family members or yes. children whose parents may have it, that they don't want to know their fate. That's correct. <laughs> and so you feel like it was a 50-50 chance that you could have it, is that, that correct? Is, that is correct, yes. And you have four children, and so you're all living your lives. Yes, we are. <laughs> Amen. Yes. But in the meantime, we want to find a cure for this, yes, no doubt. Do. Yes, we do. Jesse, share your story, too. Uh, well, same, similar circumstances. We found out in 2008, uh, my father started to display very different symptoms, mm. um, change in, in motor skills and in gait and behavioral issues that started really when he was about the age of 40. Um, and we didn't know what it was. He was, you know, misdiagnosed as bipolar. Mm. And eventually we had found like a secret in the family that Huntington's disease may have come from, um, you know, a great uncle. And so he went and they didn't even test him. They just did a, like a visual diagnosis and they were able to say you definitely have Huntington's disease we don't even have to do the blood test but we can um, and then my sister and I we knew that we were at risk because it's an inherited genetic you know disorder uh, so we got tested in 2008 and sadly we both carry the gene um, my father passed about two years ago in April and I'm so sorry. yeah so there was a 10 year decline mm -hmm. um, yeah same thing you sort of mourn the loss early on because mm. they're a different person than they were their entire life which is extremely sad but you know at that time that's when we joined HDSA and started doing all the fundraising and all the events that we've been doing throughout the year um, and I am now the president of the Huntington's Disease Society in Northeast Ohio um, and our chapter was awarded Chapter of the Year this year. So Congratulations. we are really making <laughs> strides in the community, and it's been it, we've been being noticed, and it's amazing what we've been able to do. Talk about the goal and raising money because we're ways, raising awareness definitely, and it's a disease that I never heard about when I was younger. Mm. But we're getting more awareness mm -hmm. out there, more research, but we want to find a cure. So raising this money, we can really impact the lives of family members. I think so, with, with uh, looking for a cure and also helping families who are dealing with HD now, with support groups, mm -hmm. and Jesse knows more than I do. <laughs> <laughs> social, Jesse, I mean, yeah, social workers are so important to the community when it comes out of the blue, mm -hmm. like it has for so many. Um, so our, the, the funds that are raised go to social workers, education days, um, lots of awareness in the community, and then, of course, research. And we have a lot of hope on the horizon in terms mm -hmm. of clinical trials. Nothing yet. Um, a lot of you know, trial and error, so to speak, and uh, we're so close. This is the most curable, uncurable disease, they say, and mm -hmm. you know, we're very close to finding a cure. So anything that we can raise, um, you know, of course, goes back to Northeast Ohio, impacted families, and then anything that is left over, 
um, we send off for research, which is huge. It really truly is. And you mentioned hope, and that's what this mm -hmm. event is called, mm -hmm. Celebration of Hope, and it is Northeast Ohio's Huntington Disease Society of America. And this event is coming up this Friday, November 18th at 6 o'clock at Lander Haven. Beautiful Lander Haven, yes. newly done. Mm -hmm. And there are still some tickets available. Is that right, Nicole? That is correct. Definitely. And then people can also participate and still do some things. You've got, it's a bourbon ball. Yes. So this will be <laughs> my first bourbon ball. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what I need to know about that. Uh, but so we've got you, you've got great prizes that oh, every yes. year. The mm -hmm. prizes that people can yes. can bid on and stuff are just amazing. Mm -hmm. We still have a few seats open if someone wants to buy a table. Uh, the link will be out there today if they would like okay. to still participate and join us for the event. Um, but if you can't come and you like bourbon, I would say please visit our website because we are selling something called the Grand. Uh, bourbon raffle and it's twelve thousand dollars worth of rare and unique bourbon um, that we've procured throughout the year wow. and we raffle it off at the event you don't need to be present to win oh, wow okay and you can win <laughs> up to four times so you can win 44 bottles total um, they're all highly sought after and I'm super excited so if you are interested the link is out there you just do add-ons for the grand bourbon raffle and you can help you know support the cause and Fill up your <laughs> your, your wine cellar. Your huh? bar, yeah. <laughs> wow! And, uh, yeah, and, and we haven't sold that many tickets, so I think that's huge because yes. if you are a bourbon um, aficionado and you would like to still, you know, have the opportunity to win, you have really good that's chances. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. Well, thank you, ladies. We'll see you both on Friday. Yes, I thank appreciate you. you both taking time out of your morning well, to share you. this with us. We just need to get more awareness out there. Yes, find a cure is our yes. goal. Yes. <laughs> All right. We'll thank see you, you so much. Great we'll job. See you Friday. Great to see you guys. Thanks. You got it. All right, and we'll have a link for you on box8.com so you can find out more on that.